车，后车。Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. Today we will be watching episode five of season six, The Door. Um, let's crack right on. I spoke a lot in the previous episode, and uh, I'm not going to repeat myself. But it was just more like I really enjoyed the episode. At the same time, was very emotionally drained with uh, Theon and happy for Daenerys and so many other things and Sansa and Jon. So I. Would like to see where we get on with this episode. Uh, we ended on a note where um, Daenerys really did show that she is a true queen, and uh, now let's see. Maybe we pick off where it's an aftermath as to I don't know, possibly her heading back to Marine and uh, making things right and what's happening in Marine, and if if maybe the advisor Tyrion did his job and didn't really need to like didn't I don't know maybe made things better I as I said I'm not really sure how it would work um with the situation I understand every single side of the party but I just don't know what's the right decision so let's not wait any further let's get right to it and see what exactly the aftermath of that particular uh decision making is How far is Molestown? Good job, Brienne! Lady Brienne. Mm. When I heard you just gave Winterfellow fear the worst. You have no idea how happy I am to see you unharmed. I rode north for the Knights of the Vale to come to your aid. They're in camp at Moat Caelan as we speak. To come to my aid? Did you know about Ramsay? I have, of course you If you did. didn't know, you're an idiot. If you did know, you're my enemy. Would you like to hear about our wedding night? needed my face, the face of Ned Stark's daughter. But the rest of me, he did what he liked with the rest of me. As long as I could still give him an air. I can't begin to contemplate. What do you think he did to me? Answer the fucking question. Lady Sansa asked you a question. Thanks, William. He beat you. Yes, he enjoyed that. What else do you think he did? Did he cut you? Maybe you did know about Ramsay all along. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought you knew everyone's secrets. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake. A horrible mistake. I underestimated a stranger. I can still feel it. I don't mean in my tender heart. It still pains me so. I can still feel what he did in my body standing here right now. I am so sorry. You said you would protect me. And I will. You must believe me when I tell you that I will. I don't believe you anymore. I don't need you anymore. You can't protect me. You won't even be able to protect yourself if I tell Brienne to cut you down. And why shouldn't I? You want me to beg for my life? If that's what you want, I will. If I want you to die here and now. Then I will die. You freed me from the monsters who murdered my family. And you gave me to other monsters who murdered my family. My brother and I will take back the North on our own. I never want to see you again. I would do anything to undo what's been done to you. Davis, you better stop talking. I might no, just I cut my new MacBook. Your great uncle, Brendan, the Blackfish, has gathered what remains of the Tully forces and retaken River Run. Oh my god! You might consider seeking him out. The time may come when you need an army loyal to you. I have an army. Your brother's army. Holy god, holy god. Wow! You're not ready. Well, every time I fall down, you are going to say that. You should go home before it's too late. What does that mean? Before it's too late? What the fuck are you going to do? Yeah. What? What? Uh, excuse? Gonna... <laughs> Fucking karate kid this girl is. My god. Press. You'll never be one of us, Lady Stark. 
Oh. Lorenzo, what are you doing here? She has a point. Lorenzo. None of the first faceless men were born to lords and ladies. They began as slaves in the mines of Valyria. Oh. Who's first? He was no one. The many-faced god taught him how to shed his face. They founded the free city of Bravos and built this house. Oh. These were the faces they wore in life. When they were not wearing others. The first faceless man. And now a girl is one of them. An actress who calls herself Lady Crane. She performs at the theater in Shiva Square. A girl has been given a second chance. One way or another, her face will be added to the hall. The great big hairy hall! <sighs> he dug in his tusks and dug out my guts! And soon I am no more! Oh, come, Father! In bed you must lie! I feel the winds of winter as they lick across the land. And our son alone on that cold, cold throne. Who will teach him grace? Season to one. whom will he turn when it's time to learn to look darkness in the face? Ooh! Ooh! What's happened to you then? He brought you here, Ned Stark, because you're the brightest fellow in the land. You should be king of us all, and I should be your hand. I'd ask him for permission, but it smells too bloody awful! Ah! Oh! I die! I die! I'm here! I now must lie! Oh, whoa! Will you stay on as Joffrey's hand? The Iron Thrones, what I demand! You cannot! I can't! You will not! I will! You dare not! I dare, yes! The line of succession! What's that mean? The proper progression! What's that mean? Everything that they're doing now is sort of like... How past? How can she just ignore that to become no one? But we had a deal! All done and dusted! I'm starting to think you can't be trusted! My father's friend shall be spared this! He proclaims me hand of the king! The position's mine for life. And he's given me permission to take Sansa as my wife! <laughs> oh. May I get you some wine, Lady Crane? I'm a oh. rum girl, Bono. You need to know that if we're going to be intimate. Of course we're going to be intimate. It's only a matter of time. That is Lady Crane. A girl will poison the rum. Lady Crane is the only one who drinks it. If a girl could use one of the faces from the hall. The girl is not ready. She seems like a decent woman. So a man is hard. Does death only come for the wicked and leave the decent behind? Who wants her dead? That does not matter. The price was paid. The younger actress. She's jealous because Lady Crane is better. How did you figure the that out? The girl must decide if she wants to serve the many-faced god. A girl has decided. A servant does not ask questions. Where are we now? Looks north. Holy shit. Oh god. Oh, the children. What's happening? What the fuck is happening? What's that? What's happening? <laughs> White Walkers. Oh, you're lying. We what? We were being slaughtered. Our sacred trees cut down. We needed to defend ourselves. From whom? Yeah. From you. Okay. From men. I am Yara Greyjoy, daughter of Balon Greyjoy, king of the Iron Islands. I claim the salt throne. We've never had a queen. Not once. There are many things we've never done. The great lords of Westeros pay us no mind until our little raids buzz through their kingdoms long enough to become a nuisance. Then they swat us down. They conquer us, humiliate us. Our god is a sea god. When I am queen, we will build a fleet that you likes I queen. am not finished. Yes, you are. A woman will not lead us, not when Balon's own male heir has returned. I am Theon Greyjoy. 
Okay. Last living son of Balon Greyjoy. And she is your rightful ruler. You know what she is. She is a reaver. She is a warrior. She is ironborn. We will find no better leader. I'm Euron Greyjoy. I claim the salt throne. Oh, this fucking idiot. Got yourself taken prisoner. Even heard you have no cock. <laughs> Explains why you think a woman can be king. When did you return, Uncle? A few days ago. Now I know what my first act as queen will be. To execute the man who killed my father. Uh-huh. I killed him. Threw him right over a road bridge and watched him fall. No one loved him. No one wanted to follow him. He led us into two wars we couldn't win. I apologize to you all for not killing him years ago. That would have been hard to do. You weren't here. Yara was here. Being Ironborn, leading Ironborn, getting ready to bring us back to glory. And how will she do that? I will build the largest fleet the world has ever seen. And across the sea, there is a person who hates the great lords of Westeros just as much as we do. Someone with a large army, three large dragons, and no husband. And I'm going to Galavan, right over, and give it to Daenerys Targaryen, along with my big cock. You're going to seduce the Dragon Queen? I'm not going to seduce her. The Iron Fleet will seduce her. I paid the Iron Price, and here I stand. So sad. Let your on your servant be born again from the sea as you were. Bless him with salt. Bless him with stone. Bless him with steel. You shall have no go, 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 go. Forget about this shitty place. Let the old Euron drown. Let his lungs fill with sea water. Go, go ahead. What is dead may never die, but rises again harder and stronger. Have they all lost their mind? Do they expect him to come back? <coughs> of course he does. <laughs> what is dead may never die. Where are my niece and nephew? Long gone, bitch. Let's go murder them. They stole our best ships. Won't be enough to save them. Go back to your homes. Chop down every tree you can find. Call us all to timber and start building. Build me a thousand ships, and I will give you this world. Hmm, you and Daenerys have the same logic. <laughs> My queen, I can see your ring has become your necklace there, babes. I banished you. God. Twice. I kind of forgot about this. You came back. Twice. And you saved my life. So I can't take you back, and I can't send you away. You must send me away. How long does it take? I don't know that either. I've seen what happens when it goes far enough. I'll end things before that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't be. All I've ever wanted was to serve you. Tyrion Lannister was right. I love you. I'll always love you. Do not walk away from your queen, Jorah the Andal. You have not been dismissed. You pledged yourself to me. You swore to obey my commands for the rest of your life. Well, I command you to find the cure. Wherever it is in this world, I command you to heal yourself. And then return to me when I take the Seven Kingdoms. I need you by my side.
how many killings have been carried out by the sons of the Harpy? None. And how many masters have been butchered by the free men? Two. But that was the day of the pact. Since then, nothing. So it's safe to say that a fragile peace has taken hold. They need to know Daenerys is responsible for it. The sons of the Harpy have a good story. Resist the foreign invaders. Our queen has an even better story. Mother of dragons, breaker of chains. The people know who brought them freedom. Yes, but do they know who brought them security? Who brought about an end to the violence? We need someone the people trust. Someone they know cannot be bought or influenced. Sounds like quite the hero. Where will we find him? Who said anything about him? Eglio vocto hen regiblio volantico. Drivo perso Silvio onio. Toherido elio exio onio sit. First servant? What? Oh my god. Melisandre to find all. We'd hope that we could somehow persuade you to. You don't need to persuade me. I came to help. Daenerys Stormborn is the one who was promised. From the fire, she was reborn to remake the world. She has freed the slaves from their chains and crucified the masters. For she did, indeed. Her dragons are fire made flesh. A gift from the Lord of Light. Okay. But you heard all of this before, haven't you? Ideally, we'd avoid purifying too many non believers. Exactly. The Mother of Dragons has followers of many different faiths. You want your queen to be worshipped and obeyed. And while she's gone, you want her advisors to be worshipped and obeyed. I will summon my most eloquent priests. They will spread the word. Daenerys has been sent to lead the people against the darkness. In this war, and in the great war still to come. A man Excellent. named Stannis Baratheon was anointed as the chosen one by one of your priestesses. Last I'd heard, he'd been defeated again, this time at Winterfell. And this time for good. We'd be most grateful for any support you could provide the Queen. I suppose it's hard for a fanatic to admit a mistake. Everything is the Lord's will. Everything is the Lord's will. But men and women make mistakes. Even honest servants of the Lord. And you, an honest servant of the Lord? Terrible things happen for a reason. Take what happened to you, Lord Varys, when you were a child. If not for your mutilation at the hand of a second-rate sorcerer, you wouldn't be here, helping the Lord's Chosen bring his light into the world. But there's still so much you don't know. Do you remember what you heard that night when the sorcerer tossed your parts in the fire? Oh. Should I tell you what the voice said? Should I tell you the name of the one who spoke? While you are telling the story, you might as well finish it off. Don't leave me hanging. We serve the same queen. If you are her true friend, you have nothing to fear from me. The hard necklace is almost the same, but it doesn't have too many tiki tiki tiki. So is she like super old, but then her necklace is sort of concealing her age or something? Not nice, Bran. Whoa! What is that? Is isn't that the way the the horses' heads were? Are those trees? Oh no, they're not. looking at him do you really need to be walking near this this has to be the present right there's a crow a wildling oh my god well the infamous oh my god he made contact No, he no, touched you. He touched you. Holy he fuck! You here. He'll come for you. 
But he can't get in. He can now. His mark is on you. Oh, what You must Voldemort. leave, all of you. Well, the time has come. The time for what? For you to become me. But am I ready? No. Shit. I can't defend the North Where from the Walkers go? and the South from the Boltons. Aside from the Starks and the Boltons, the most powerful houses in the North, the Umbers, the Karstarks. These are the, the Boltons. The Umbers and the Karstarks have already declared for the Boltons. How well do you know the North, Sir Davos? Which is little, my lady. My father always said Northerners are different, more loyal, more suspicious of outsiders. They may well be loyal, but how many rose up against the Boltons when they betrayed your family? I may not know the North, but I know men. They're more or less the same in any corner of the world, and even the bravest of them don't want to see their wives and children skinned for a lost cause. John's going to convince them to fight alongside him. They need to believe it's a fight they can win. There are more than three other houses in the north. Glover, Mormon, Kerwin, Mason, Hornwood. Together they equal all the others. The north remembers. They remember the Stark name. People will still risk everything for it from White Harbor to Ramsey's own door. I don't doubt it. It's Ramsey's own door? Have the Stark Is that name. It? No, but I do. And there are also the Tullys, they're not northern, but they will back us against the Boltons without question. I didn't know the Tullys still had an army. My uncle, the Blackfish, has reformed it and retaken River Run. Ramsay received a raven before I escaped Winterfell. Blackfish is a legend. His support would mean a grave deal. So she's not told that she's met Baelish. Stark, Tully, a few more houses. Almost starts to look like a one inside. We can send the Blackfish a raven. You can't risk Ramsay intercepting it. It has to be you. Ride for everyone. My uncle will talk to you and you'll know how to talk to him. Davos and the Red Woman helped a man murder his own brother with blood magic. And when Stannis paid for his crime, where were they? Already out looking for a leader with better prospects. And that wildling fellow with the beard. John isn't Tormund. John isn't Davos or the Red Woman or Stannis for that matter. John is John. He's my brother. He'll keep me safe. I trust him. Then why did you lie to him when he asked you how you learned about River Run? Uh -huh. Why you ask a question with no answers? If that was in my test, I would get a zero for that. Good, because I made this for you. I made it like the one father used to wear. Oh my god! As near as I can remember. Thank you, Sansa. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god, Tommen. He has my heart now. What the fuck happened? Good luck. Thanks, Ed. The Dolores. So we are going to get some men. Shall we close the gate, Lord Commander? I'm not the Lord Commander. Oh, you just take it. Oh, wow, look at everyone up here. Yeah. <clears throat> close the bloody gate. I want an egg. How do you like them? Boiled? Fried up with some butter? <laughs> Hold on. Oh. With a rasher of bacon and some blood sausage. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, yeah! Oh no! How did you get here so fast? Oh my god, look at that shit! It's made of ice! My friend, I am so sorry for what we've done, but we were trying to get you to help us out in some way. Oh no wonder he's against the man. Look at how blue.
Sarah Mughal Dev.
I have some theory like as to why the second Hodor felt it because I think that in that moment because Bran was walking Hodor the, the the older version of Hodor I think he also not I think he accidentally I guess walked this Hodor the the dream Hodor because he was in the same place with Hodor and he was feeling that the the other Hodor was possibly feeding everything like he had it's almost like a seizure that he had because he could feel all of it and he was I don't know if in the end that he when he was doing that accidentally he walked the 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 dream water a hodor instead of the actual hodor and he was just left there to die <laughs> i don't know which theory is right i don't know or maybe because he was in the dream and he had warned the actual hodor that what was happening to him is that he could feel like in his future that the past Hodor he somehow was walked as well and he it was happening at the same time in two separate timelines and I don't know if Bran even knew he could do that like he dream walked and he did a normal walking while he was in the dream and the uh, the 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 younger Hodor was talking about was saying hold the door hold the door but the bigger Hodor didn't say that because I think he was somehow connected to Bran in a way where he knew that he had to hold and that's how his name came Hodor because what if if that was his name from the start was that his purpose like to hold oh my god i forgot that the title's name is the door what if i even go oh god I don't know what it is but I just feel like in that moment that Bran like Hodo's purpose I felt like he the way he was saying it it was almost like as if his main purpose was to take care of Bran I just don't un saw that um john and samsa and they're all going to go to the to the with the their allies or at least potential allies that can help them against ramsey and uh, somehow find more men to help them with the army that they can add up to the 2000 wildlings then um 
then the the other thing is the this red priestess she's in marine and she serves now daenerys i don't understand the logic in that because if the lord of light knows that there is a prince promise which is which is john apparently why would the lord of same lord of light want daenerys as well i just don't understand that at all I have no idea. I don't. I. I seriously don't get that at all. If I'm pretty sure there's no, unless Melisandre, because Melisandre is losing her powers and she's not herself anymore. She's. I think her faith in itself is sort of diminishing, and maybe what she's seeing in the flames, thinking that John is the prince promise, could be also wrong. And she's like the new one like new melisandre and the lord of light favors her more because she seems like what melisandre used to be i don't know i have no idea about that but she seemed all too familiar about what happened with varus so she can see visions of past and whatnot and but yeah there's so much more to learn but I mean, I guess in that way, the Lord of Light needs to know that there is Bran or the Three-Eyed Raven that knows everything about this world. And Bran is learning to become him, but Bran is not ready and whatnot. So I don't know who's more stronger magic-wise, the Lord of Light or this guy, or uh, Bran. Like once he gets to the Three-Eyed Raven, once he knows everything and so much knowledge and all that. I see, so, you know, I have no idea. Um, but the main another thing about speaking of Bran is that the children of the forest created the White Walkers, and uh, she created. First of all, I just realized this night king that we saw he's more bigger than the night king we saw in hard home I, I i think i may be overthinking but it just looks really more like taller a, a bit more i don't know like i think he is the guy that was in on the tree he had very similar features face wise i think yeah like it actually looked like brawn, not gonna lie, but um, he looked almost similar. I don't know if that was the Night King. I'm pretty sure that would have been the Night King. That the night isn't the Night King the first White Walker. So the Children of the Forest created the White Walkers as weapons to be used against the world of men. Who were destroying their sacred lands but didn't know how devastating that would be did did the white walkers help them in the end i'm assuming not because they have all these precautions and things that can keep them away but once they found the cave and they killed the three-eyed raven immediately But I don't know, like... Uh, but yeah, I mean, the Three-Eyed Raven didn't have much of defense mechanism for himself to protect himself and get out. Because Mimir is stuck to the tree. <laughs> I say Mimir from God of War. Um, but yeah, um, and then in the start... Oh, that scene with Baelish, Sansa and Brienne, that was hardcore, hardcore, like genuine. You could see the distraught and you can see what a terrible thing that they, like, you know, you can literally, even if it was all a calculated move, it's all at the expense of a person's, like, you know, innocence, life and whatnot. 
yes he is smart he is so good in that way and he's been playing the you know the game of thrones from the beginning and chaos is a ladder and whatnot but you know i'm not saying that he is worse than everyone else everyone are equally horrible in that case i'll say like you know what daenerys does to people is like you know if i say that temple of dosh clan dosh clan burning them it's crazy but you know there has to be the right reason to be like that and if you have the right reason i'm not justifying it i'm saying because in such a world where violence thrives um and death is always around the corner i think if you have the right reason to be the way you are for a again that can everyone can see a right reason for themselves see it's like i can't like justify who's right and wrong everyone is wrong but i feel like the storyline is more favoring us to sympathize with sansa because of course you know when she started talking about ramsay and her wedding night and every minute detail you could even tell from the previous episode where she wanted to finish off that letter about what ramsay wants to do to her like she has seen the worst she has experienced the worst she has seen her father beheaded she has seen her father's head on a spike she has been tortured by marin trant a plaything for joffrey her mother and father dead sans uh, arya somewhere and comes uh, and then from then she's in baelish's hands and then could and may have been accused of murder of joffrey um in the wedding if not for the escape or escapes only to be put in another monster's house being handed over to the very people that killed her family being raped being cut beaten and exactly what she said like that he knows more than he let on that he didn't know what kind of a person he was yes okay um even though he did say that i never heard of you even if you are a bastard to ramsay i still don't believe that he baelish as baelish would not have known who ramsay was being a bolton son no sorry i that was hard to watch but at the same time very necessary for her to confront him like that and with brian by her side oof i felt that I felt that that was hardcore that's like true loyalty true power you know she held up her oath and she, I, honestly she's a fucking knight to me i don't care what they say but she's a knight but yeah um and then uh, arya's fighting is getting very good she is uh looking like she can hold her own but at the same time she is not ready for the face for the faces and lords and ladies can be they are they can never be ready because they have a past and they are attached to some things as we could see from the the show the puppet show that they had but it's always been slaves of valeria that become no one and all that and now she has a new target to claim for the rare for the 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 god of death or what not lady queen and for arya to see that entire show like my god like that's her family's life just unfolding right in front of her eyes and then what happens to be sansa just you know being even if it's not sansa it's the idea that sansa is the one you know like her private self just like that it's like it's degrading it's so degrading very degrading like it's so unfair to think that this was a common norm like it's it's not okay like you know oh god I can't I I can't justify it like oh that was the timeline no fucking way I, I, who the hell are you no that's wrong in every sort of the matter that was anyone's mom sister the daughter wife oh my god and then this Euron Greyjoy Ugh. yes he has all the claims to the throne but exactly what Fionn said 
you weren't there i don't even know who you are you just killed the goddamn brother yara was there and she deserves that freaking throne but you know forget about that i could not care about the great joys like at least anyone but theon and yara i don't care about the rest um but the way that theon stood up for her gave her that speech gave that speech about her saying that she was present she was here she is a fearless warrior she is your queen like what a fucking step up from theon in the cages like imagine he is like found that spirit in him he's found that sunlight like now nothing can stop him from being who he he is like he is you know like a spirit away kind of horse where he's now just finding finding a joy and daylight but he's just doing the right thing and he doesn't want anything for himself he just wants to be with his family and yara is the best queen so i completely agree with that and the way he did it i mean i'm so proud i'm not going to lie i'm very proud of theon for that matter and now they are they've gone and taken all the ships good great that's fantastic but euron mentioned that they would take the iron fleet the biggest iron fleet to daenerys because she wants to... what makes you think my god speaking of daenerys that jova showing the grayscale and then the way she expresses her feelings like twice i banished you and you say like you know you saved me and he says tyrion was right i love you find a cure wherever it is in the world and uh, come back to me because when i take the seven kingdoms i need you by my side oh I mean, I know Dario was third wheeling there, but Dario got a hand it to their relation where he gave his sword for her. Like, god damn! So, by that analogy and the way it's been left off, I have hope that there is a cure. Otherwise, it's not going to be. I feel like they wouldn't have a five-minute scene just about this to say to. to jora that you have to find a cure wherever it is and you know taking the seven kingdoms and all that i feel like he will find the cure but again i don't know where we know that shireen is the only one that had that um that luck of getting rid of the gray scale but what exactly it is i don't know but anyhow um i'll see you guys in episode 6 we have only four more to go emotional not gonna lie but yeah i'll see you guys in episode 6 i think i'm done for today it's very it's very hard but um it's also it's more like you have to examine it watch the lore and it, i'm pretty sure like reading this in detail would make so much sense but i still want to know what happened like what the whole door scene was like this is what my theory was and i think that he may have just walked the dream hodor and the dream hodor was holding the door in the actual hodor so that that's the only thing that comes to my mind or is remotely making sense as to why dream hodor was affected by it and i think with the way that they were shooting in on hodor the last angle camera angle it was more like that was the purpose of Willis like that's why we don't know him as Willis we know him as Hodor which is hold the door and his purpose was to hold the door Hodor's purpose was to hold the door for Bran and then some of us I can't talk about my animals right now I I will cry I'll see you guys in episode 6 thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe please it really means a lot and yeah i'll see you in episode 6 take care guys bye